in the early to mid 80s, I said something to Pat that, Pat, if you continue to perform as you are, and if you continue to invest in your professional development, you can have my job someday. I remember that we were, we we're all sitting at dinner and, and, and my dad tells us, he, he says, I've been considered to uh, become CEO of Center Health. My mom sat down with her computer. We all pretty much wrote this letter of eligibility. It was really awesome because was the whole family put, put their, their effort and their love into it. Pat was one who understood the inside of this organization, and he was always representing the integrity that we wanted in the system. So kind of naturally, as you start talking about my dad's growth as a person, and it really intertwined with how Sutter was growing. And so his accomplishments were Sutter's accomplishments, Sutter's accomplishments were his accomplishments in a way where it was adding to the community that we lived in. Pat's view is that Sutter Health is first and foremost a healthcare organization, but secondly, it is a responsible community citizen. And that has been through Pat's um, vision of being able to see what's important to the communi community and how do we help to serve it. Sutter Health, under Pat's leadership, has evolved to be one of the model integrated delivery systems in the country. Uh, and other health systems, both in the state and nationwide, look at the things Sutter has done and is doing and want to emulate that. You cannot help but be struck by his energy, his forcefulness, uh, just what a strong personality Pat is. I think what you learn over time, however, is what an incisive mind Pat has. The growth that I saw was him taking that capacity and really kind of starting to pull things together. And throughout his career, he's listened to everybody and taken the best of what everybody has to offer. And although he is truly an operator and really understands the numbers, I think he's unique in that he really appreciates the people part of his job as well and has done countless things over the years that really demonstrate that. He could often be seen in the hospital on the PM shift or the night shift. And I don't think he ever really got how meaningful his presence was. He puts other people out in front and supports them so that um, he gives them the confidence, gives them the platform, gives them the opportunity to succeed. The thing that I don't think that people recognize enough is his compassion for the people that we care for and how much he cares about what we do as a not-for-profit healthcare system. And that vision for the future, along with his drive and his relationships with people, was really what allowed him to be so successful and really what allowed Sutter to have its growth and continued development during his time as CEO. He is the humblest guy for, for the position he's in that I've ever met. He doesn't like the accolades, he doesn't like any of that stuff, he's just not that type of guy. But he deserves it, and I think uh, it's great that we can have this opportunity to give it to him. I think what Pat's legacy is going to be is when you look at the strength of the system, that the, uh, the footings that this organization is on today in terms of the clinical quality, the, uh, nearly all of the physical plant, a substantial part of the physical plant has been rebuilt. Uh, the fantastic uh, uh, breadth of the physician delivery network. And so I think this is an organization um, that is on solid footing for several generations to come. My sense is that, that Pat's going to have two significant legacies in Sutter, not just one. The first is his commitment to developing the next generation of leaders the organization needs. The second legacy, I think, is going to be his willingness to drive change in Sutter before it was in a critical state. He supported the funding of the EHR, the implementation of the EHR, and we today have the largest single deployment of electronic medical record in the nation. From my standpoint, I think his legacy is going to be one of trying to coordinate healthcare uh, and really getting physicians involved. Pat's legacy is supporting that very local, very intimate relationship between a patient and their doctor or a patient and their nursing team, but still bringing the power of the system, the intellectual power, the scientific power, the uh, economies of scale, the economies of expertise together to support that patient and family and community. And really, one Sutter is really Pat Fry's creation.